protein synthesis. Why transcription? Transcription is used to copy half of a certain segment of DNA. This segment is called messenger RNA, or mRNA. The mRNA is used to create a protein. Where does transcription occur? Transcription occurs inside of the nucleus of the cell. How a gene is turned on. Some keywords are RNA polymerase, promoter, tata box, and transcription factors. DNA is arguably the most important part of gene expression. It is made of the promoter, which initiates transcription, the coding strand, which is being transcribed, and the termination, which ends the transcription. The whole process starts with DNA inside of the nucleus. In the promoter of the DNA is something called the TATA box. The TATA box is a string of the nucleotides TATAAAA, usually with more A at the end. This is the location where TATA binding proteins or TBPs bind. These are transcription factors. A transcription factor is any protein that assists in the process of transcription except for RNA polymerase. The transcription factors TF2D, TF2A, and TF2B bind to the Tata box. RNA polymerase binds the transcription factors. RNA polymerase unwinds DNA and finds complementary RNA nucleotides to correspond with the existing DNA nucleotides. It then rewinds the DNA. Transcription factors unbind, and gene transcription begins. Transcription. Some key words are DNA unwinding, DNA template strand, RNA and DNA nucleotides, the elongation of RNA, the DNA-RNA hybrid complex, introns, exons, the five prime cap, and the three prime tail. When the RNA polymerase begins transcription, it unwinds one end of the DNA. The RNA polymerase then reads one of the strands of the unwound DNA called the template strand. The other strand is called the non-template or coding strand. Complementary RNA nucleotides are added to the DNA nucleotide of the template strand as it is read. The adding of complementary nucleotides is called elongation of RNA. Adenine is paired with uracil, thymine with adenine, guanine with cytosine, and cytosine with guanine. The region in the RNA polymerase where DNA nucleotides and RNA nucleotides are bound is called the DNA-RNA hybrid complex. And DNA is rewound when exiting the RNA polymerase. When the RNA leaves the RNA polymerase, a methylated cap is added to the 5' end. When all of the DNA has been transcribed, a series of adenine is added to the 3' end. The result is precursor messenger RNA, or pre-mRNA. There are two main parts of pre-mRNA, introns and exons. DNA splicing is done by a spliceosome, which removes introns while connecting the extrons. The result is mature mRNA. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm, where translation begins. Effects of mutation. Mutations occur when the transcription of DNA goes incorrectly, which can result in the incorrect protein produced. Translation. Some key terms are messenger RNA or mRNA, ribosome, amino acids, transfer RNA or tRNA, codons, anticodons, start and stop codon, RNA nucleotides, protein, elongation of amino acids, E, P, and A sites. Why does translation occur? Well, translation occurs to produce proteins from reading the messenger RNA or mRNA. 
Ribosomes are proteins that create proteins. Ribosomes are made of two subunits, a larger subunit and a smaller one. There are a total of four sites in a ribosome. Three of those sites are in the large subunit and are for tRNA. The other site is located in the small subunit and it's for the mRNA to run through. The A site is a location in the ribosome where the tRNA first goes to match up with a successive codon. As the ribosome moves down the mRNA, the tRNA in the A site moves to the P site. Once another tRNA comes into the A site, the amino acid of the tRNA in the P site unbinds from the tRNA and binds to the amino acid of the tRNA in the A site. The ribosome moves even more down, and the tRNA in the P site moves down to the E site. Once the tRNA reaches there, it is uncharged and leaves the ribosome. Messenger RNA is split into codons, or groups of three adjacent nucleotides. Transfer RNA has anticodons, or groups of three adjacent nucleotides that are complementary to the codons of messenger RNA. The specific anticodon determines which amino acid the tRNA is able to carry. Ribosomes always start translating the messenger RNA at the start codon. The start codon is most commonly a sequence of AUG. It normally takes several times until a tRNA with a complementary anticodon to this current codon is found. When the correct tRNA is found, the ribosome moves down the RNA to the next codon. All the tRNA in the ribosome then gets moved to the subsequent site. tRNA in the A goes to the P site, P site goes to the E site, and the E site goes to the cytoplasm. When there are at least two amino acids present in the ribosome, the ribosome will form a peptide bond between the amino acid in the P site and the amino acid in the A site. The amino acid in the P site will lose its bond with the tRNA in the P site. When the ribosome moves down to the next codon, which happens to be CUG, the amino acidless tRNA in the P site will be moved to the E site, where then that tRNA will go to the cytoplasm and get another amino acid. Another complementary tRNA will come down and deliver its amino acid. The process of bonding amino acids and the departure and arrival of tRNA continues. More and more amino acids are being added. A stop codon, UAG, has been reached. A stop codon indicates the termination of translation. Other stop codons include UAA and UGA. When a stop codon has been reached, a release factor enters the ribosome, and the ribosome, protein, and transfer RNA get released. Voila! A protein! Mutations can cause errors in the codons, which result in incorrect reading of the codons. Incorrect readings of the codons can result in premature termination or incorrect attachment of amino acids. These result in proteins that do not function as intended.